Alright, quick video of what's going on. I haven't made a video in a while. Um, what have we been up to? Same shit, working on these cars. Uh, what have we been doing? Got a new floor jack, that was pretty cool. Got a big ass one, three and a half ton, low profile, get underneath the back of the Impala. And the front of the Impala now, a wagon, same shit. It's the same jack I had, but I gave it to my friend. Because it's heavy and I couldn't fit in the back of my truck. Put a new mass cylinder in Impala, helped a little bit. There's a lot of sludge in there, so it stops a lot better and the pedal feels a lot better because it's a 91 uh, master cylinder. I'm also getting a set of new brake rotors for this thing. Actually, since I'm cheap and poor, um, <laughs> I got a uh, set of used Impala ones that are about. Same miles this car has, but they haven't been cut like 18 times like these ones have. I got a cool wiper screen from the junkyard. You find them on a lot of like Cadillacs and shit like that. I got a bunch of those. <clears throat> That's a cool mod. The tank doesn't get all dirty. Um, what else? I don't know. Play with RC cars too. Anyone need any RC car parts? They get a lot of that stuff. Radios, stuff like that. Um, oh, I'm also getting a uh, sway bar for the wagon. So that will be installed in a little bit. More scratches. So, yeah, you can't even see it. It's a different sway bar though in these cars. The rear end isn't as wide as the wagon. It's like an inch wider, so you can't use a sedan bar on a wagon, but um, so you gotta get a custom one, and that's what this is, with those control arms I put on this car and the other one, you can uh, mount them up good, I also have new upper control arms for the wagon, cause those bushings are crap, and you can get the whole arm, and if you get these things for like 45, 50 bucks, you know they're not rusty, I painted these, they were bare metal. With new bushings already installed, so you just have to play around with this side, which is in the, uh, the axle. Um, what else? Oh yeah, seam sealer. Got a cow leak on the wagon. Take this whole little plastic shit off. There's a seam. Goes on the passenger side. And it, uh, it cracks over time. And you get the leak on the passenger side, so I did that. And also, I'm painting the roof of that thing, so it's a disaster. I'll show you in another video. Um, oh, yeah, this is another funny thing happened in this car. In my other videos, I was playing around with the like the cool in the morning times. Well, on these pieces of junk, you really shouldn't uh, drain them. Quite a little drain thing. Hold on. Um, I'm gonna mirror. I'll show you. Oh, mirror. Where is it? Uh, there we go, right there. You see it in the mirror. And uh, it's a little drain thing that pops out. Really junky. And uh, after a couple times I use them, they start getting screwed up. And uh, this one actually popped out of me when I was driving down the road. We lost all my coolant, almost overheated the car, shut it down before it got too hot, coasted, and called my dad, got, this thing is basically all water now in there, and I put some water wetter, because this is Florida, it isn't uh, New York anymore, so uh, I don't need to really run antifreeze, because uh, I don't have to worry about it freezing up, so I did that, and then I epoxied all around that drain, so if it does, Ever, do a floor jam. If it ever um pops out, it probably won't now because it's going to be a lot of uh, a lot more pressure. It's gonna have to overcome, so I won't buy a radiator for that. <sighs> that was fun. Not really. The engine's almost on fire. It's a pretty good engine though. Shit, the thing was hot as hell. Put some water in there. Cranked right up. No problem. That's about it. Maybe I'll make a video later of my uh, my roof roof disaster. 
Need a bike still? I need one. It's gonna get a moped too, but um, yeah, it's a piece of junk. And those pooch mopeds. Too much money and uh, too many projects too. I go and buy it if I can flip it for money. Uh, what else I got going on? That's about it, probably. <laughs> ATE, still gonna use that shit. Oh yeah, take apart a master cylinder too. Thought I would make a video of that. That's pretty cool. Bunch of springs inside. Bunch of little diaphragms. It's pretty easy to take apart. You need a snap ring plier and um, a couple of big screwdrivers. And it comes right apart pretty quick. And you just gotta stab it. Go through the little valve holes. So the whole spring won't pop out when you have pressure on it. I should have made a video. Next one, God forbid. <laughs> I don't want to swap dual master cylinders. Um, so what else? New floor jack, car disaster, painting the roof and the other thing. I'll make a video of that later. It's hot as hell outside. So, that's it.